it's time for us to talk nutrition. And our state registered nutritionist, uh, Akosia Kunidu Yadom, has joined us this morning, and we're going to be discussing snails, the benefits, um, the health benefits of eating snails. Um, it's Heritage Month, and we are looking at all the different local dishes that we actually have and we already patronize and a lot of people love snails and it would be good for us to know what are the health benefits of eating snails. Good morning. Good morning. Good How are you? I'm fine. All You're right. Well? I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you. So snails, yeah. um, at least where I come from, mm -hmm. uh, how do we call them? In wow. <laughs> yes. Um, and um, it's for me, it was a personal delicacy. I love snails. Um, so I'm curious, what am I eating mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, the benefits to my health? Okay, so um, snails, um, unfortunately, we have um, some um, cultures or cultural beliefs that yes. will prevent a certain group of people. For instance, the Krogos don't like to eat snails. And then some Muslims too. Mm. Or a good number, almost all Muslims wouldn't eat snails. So it's so unfortunate what, that what, it's you f what you find is the reason. What is it about the snails? Okay, for the Muslim, people... I, I knew it, it had to do with their religious belief. Mm. It's seen as something that is um, unholy, okay. like pig okay. and, or pork meat, mm. yeah, or pork, sorry. Yeah, so for that reason, a Muslim wouldn't want to yeah. see snails as meat. And also, it, it's, it's always in the sun. They see it yeah. to be something which is dirty. Okay. And the uh, pork meat, too, the pig is mm. tagged with dirt. Yes, and then for the Krobos, I'm, I'm, I'm told it's a traditional belief. Yes, it's heritage month, so you can delve deeper. It's, yeah. it, they worship it. Oh, I yes, see. it's seen okay. as a god. That's okay. what I was told by my trouble friend. So they don't eat their gods. Yes. Of course, I mean, if it's your god, yes. you don't so touch it. So that is why they yeah. wouldn't eat it. But unfortunately, snails are powerful meals, and they are one of the most healthiest proteins on the surface of the earth. Yeah? Yes, they are wow. one of the most healthiest proteins. Koku, come to think of it, do you have fat sitting in snail? Do mm. you think mm. the only fat sitting in snail is omega-3? And omega-3 is one of the, the best mm. fats you can have. It's good for brain. The brain, it is good for a whole lot of benefits. When yeah. you hear omega-3, mm. it's like top-notch when it comes to fat. And so if you have this being the main and only fat sitting in snail, it should tell you that it's a very powerful meal. We enjoy several delicacies as far as snails are concerned. Yeah. Um, where you come from, a bunabunu will never be a bunabunu <laughs> without, without snails, snails and know, mushrooms. Right? Yeah. Yes. And then for some people, there are wonderful delicacies. Some people are making snail kebabs. Yeah. Yes. And a whole lot of meals. Lye soup, it goes with lye soup. You can even have done angomo. <laughs> with, with snails, with snails. <laughs> yeah so uh, my mom's tenant sells them and she brought a lot home and okay. it was like oh i'm not a lover of fufu yeah so this is what i want to do with my snails so we tried as young as we are it's about 15 years ago mm. we cooked that with snails and it was, and it was okay. okay so once it's meat anyhow you want to do it somebody would want to have jollof mm. snails in jollof whatever recipe that works for you eat ghana and snails our, our powerful meals, we, we, we can, we, our part can be part of our yeah. powerful meals, yeah. so why not? So, right off the back of uh, the president's uh, call for us to be careful with, <laughs> you know, obesity and all yeah. of that, this is, this is a protein that is fat-free, yes. right? Now, you talked about omega-3 um, uh, fatty acids. Now, tell us what, what's the actual benefit that people are going to get by okay, so getting omega three into I, their because of this is because this is very important conversation for us. I put together the benefits, and so if you can project them on our screens, okay. and go to the omega three side, mm. so that we can really appreciate it. Viewers can even screenshot if okay. they want to. So mm. please, let's have um, the benefits. Okay. okay, it's not ready, but let me read. It's a heart-loving fatty acid, mm. and it's very good for the heart. Omega three is also good for the brain's health or brain mm. health for growth and development and has other benefits. So when we say that something is heart-loving, it means that it doesn't contribute it negatively. It brings to goodness to mm. the heart. And so without my heart, Kweku, do you think I'll be able to sit here every Monday mm. and preach this, <laughs> this good news of nutrition to you? Will you be here in, in, in your holiness <laughs> interviewing me? You 
wouldn't have Kweku sitting here. We wouldn't have Jifa sitting here. Mm. Without my heart, I, I don't think I can, I can, I can live. Mm. And so if I have just one singular um, ingredient yeah. or a food, let me see it as a food. Mm. Yes, giving me this goodness as far as my heart's health is concerned. I yes. believe that it is something which is good. And on the back of the conversation you just had with me, as far as what the president said um, two weeks ago, saying that we are all obese, I sat here two weeks ago and even last week saying that most of the contributing factors as far as um, obesity is concerned, most of the times you have fat playing mm. a key role. And so if you are taking snail, for instance, instead of um, um, the wrong margarine, or the wrong butter. Yeah. It means that what that ingredient is going to do to you, snail will give you something good as far as omega-3 yeah. fatty acid is concerned. Yeah. And I've spoken about the benefits. Once it's heart-loving, once it helps with your brain's development, mm. you can't do anything if your brain is not in support of everything yeah. you are doing. You are, you are like a walking dead if your brain... Okay. So, these so let's walk through the different benefits Okay, so we have top. magnesium, yeah. and this is for the maintenance of normal blood pressure, mm -hmm. strengthening of bones, and also helps you with regular heartbeats, Kweku. Mm. So heart is here again, again. Yeah. heartbeat. If your heartbeat is, is being improved on, if your blood pressure, it's like they work in connection. Okay. Once your blood pressure is, is working or it is it's functioning the way it has to function, mm. it means that you are doing your heart some amount of goodness. Yeah. Because if your blood pressure is bad, it definitely affects how your heart is even mm. going to work yeah. and it will affect Absolutely. your heartbeat. Yes. And the second one is iron. Iron is one of the most important things because iron works for males, it works for females. And I told you in various conversations we, we've had here that for a man, your iron levels will need to be between... Um, 14 to 18 yeah. grams per deciliter. For a woman, it should be between 12 to 16 mm. grams per deciliter. And so you have to always make sure you are eating iron-rich foods. And one iron-rich food is, is snail. Is snail. Wow. So if you are eating snail, you can be sure of the benefits as far as iron is concerned. Yeah. Iron makes sure we have healthy blood cells. And when my blood cells are healthy, it means that I will have good amounts of mm. blood or my blood will be will be rich there okay. wouldn't be any form of a deficit which will eventually lead me to mm. anemia or iron deficiency okay yes so iron is also on check yeah, the next go to one the third is one selenium okay so for selenium can we please have the projected Selenium for protection against cell damage and for boosting our immune system. Mm. When something has to do with your immunity, Kweku, I am able to sit because Absolutely. of my immunity. Mm. I am able to assimilate every information I am sharing here because mm. if my whole body is working. Is well. Yes, yeah. my body is well. So when, thank you for the word, mm. when you are well, it means that in, in your immune system or your immunity mm. is also well. Yeah. If my immunity is compromised or there is something wrong with my immune system, I may not even be able to sit. Mm. A classical example is something wrong with my backbone or my okay. spinal cord. Okay. You okay. and me know that we, I wouldn't be able to, mm. to move. And then what the, for the protection against cell damage, you know, cancer and all those things, yeah. they are as a result of damages as far as our cells. Some mm. cells are concerned. So if you have the cells in your body being improved on in yeah. a positive way. It means that, come on, snails are doing wonderful things. This is our, our third hmm. point. Protein. Amazing. Protein is an important nutrient with amazing benefits for the body, including building repair of body muscles. So yeah. the reason why we, when, when, when you get hurt, your, your wounds or your sores can heal mm. is because repair is able to yeah. happen. For instance, if there is burnt or you burn, you know, aside the fact that clinically we need to take your body through certain treatments, something in you is mm. also facilitating the, the healing, the healing, healing. process. Yeah. So once healing is made possible because of the nutrient protein, mm. and we extensively, I think protein, carbohydrate, the major nutrients, every level, you can tell me that you didn't study yeah. science and so you don't know. 
proteins are what helps our bodies to grow, especially with children. Mm. So if you have a child or people who haven't hit their adult adulthood, it is very critical mm. that you make sure you are pumping the right protein into yeah. their meals to make sure they build as far as muscles are concerned, they grow well, and then repair can happen because children mm. also end up hurting their bodies a whole lot of time. Mm. Break time, they, they play, and they get um, some bruises here and there. So it's, it's easy easier for children to, to, to be hurt or have scars. Mm. And for the adults, once we age, it's difficult for healing to happen like it will happen in children. Okay. So if you are eating well and making sure you are pumping the right protein, the right nutrients into your body, you can also help your body as far as healing is concerned. Can we have the... <laughs> The last okay, three so points. The omega three that you mentioned. Yes, we've mentioned omega three, there, and then and then finally vitamin B twelve. B six, vitamin B twelve. The next, the next five and six, please. Vitamin B twelve. Okay, so for vitamin B twelve, it's an energy vitamin which helps release energy from the food we eat and the processing of folic acid. Mm. It is good for blood health, especially for pregnant women, and helps yeah. with the baby's neural tube development into her brain and spinal cord. Mm. So you realize that once iron is compromised, it leaves... Um, um, what what I, I, I the harm is not just for the mother. Mm. It is for the baby, mm. because the neural tube defect has more to do... It has everything to do with the baby. Once it is affecting the absorption of even iron, it means that there will be a deficiency okay. as far as iron is concerned. And from the first point, you say that an energy vitamin which helps release energy. When we say something is an energy vitamin, I can talk like this for my segment because I have energy in okay. me. You can talk for mm. 7.30 <laughs> through 10. to 10 yeah. because you have energy, energy. in you. So okay. if this meal is contributing an amount of energy. Do you know how it works? Mm. We eat banku because we need carbohydrate. Carbohydrate okay. is loaded primarily with energy as far as glucose is concerned. Mm. So this coming in can even help me cut down on the energy in the banku. Okay. Because now I know that I am getting a bit of the energy from even the snail. Aside the fact that I'm getting protein, selenium, I am getting iron, I'm getting all these goodness, other yeah. goodness from this pro um, um, protein. Okay. Even if I decide to go for, let's say, a little of rice and add to, let's say, my kebab, my mm. snail kebab, yeah. I know that, oh, okay, the energy in the food and the rice might be a little, but at least I can get some amount of energy from here okay. and other things I'm adding to my meal or other things I have on mm. my plate. So, yes, snails are powerful. If for nothing at all, for these six points we've, mm. we've, we've, we've spoken about, it should tell you that there is a reason why we have to eat Ghana. Wow. So, with, with all these benefits i mean we have uh, magnesium uh, selenium uh, iron iron protein, protein um, vitamin b12, vitamin B12 uh, omega omega um, omega 3, three fatty, fatty acids, acids and so on with all of this that is is in there um, i i look at the snail and yeah. i don't of course there's no there's very little fat in there as well so calorie levels i'm sure they must How be many? quite low Yes. In terms of calorie Yes, levels. it is very low. Thank you so much, Koku, mm. for the question. It is very low in glycemic index. Okay. And glycemic index, I, explain, I have explained a number of times to be how fast glucose mm. is obtained from food. Okay. So let's say white bread and wheat bread. White bread will have a higher glycemic index okay. if I should have a slice of white bread okay. and then a slice of wholemeal bread mm. because it has something in there but for the white bread something has been taken in there so there's that kind of suppression and everything you have sitting in there is probably white flour or main ingredients or the active ingredients in there yeah. is flour okay unlike um, whole meal depending on what you are taking mm. if let's say you are taking wheat bread we have wheat in there you can be assured of some amount of fiber Yes, and, and, and fiber we do the benefits. So, yeah. yes, it has a low glycemic index, meaning that if you take bread and I'm taking snail, yes. as far as energy needs are concerned, yeah. I will have my calories lower. lower. 
than yours. But I find it fascinating because even though it has low calories, it has the vitamin B that allows you to, you know, release energy from whatever little food that you've eaten. As a matter of fact, more research will still need to be mm. to be done because it's such a powerful a powerful food. Let me yeah. say food. Yes. Even with that, you say it's yeah. it's fascinating. Mm. But even with a few we've spoken here yeah. about Kweku, it's, yeah. it's 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 mind blowing when you research and read yeah. about some of the things we have in this country. It's we exciting. are such a blessed people and yeah. God is a wise man. I'll keep saying it because with what you are saying, that is what comes to yeah. mind because I, I I can eat bread and be full. Okay. I, ca I can't take two, let's say, servings of yeah. medium to large size of snails and go like, I'm satisfied. Would you be, would you be okay with <laughs> two? No. But as far as goodness is concerned, what is in snail kind of? Well, compared? I'm excited because I love my snails. And Please don't abuse it. We have uh, to go there. Um, uh, well, I mean, now when I'm eating my snails, I'll eat it with more relish. And then, it's you know, nice. Knowing, knowing that I'm eating a lot of goodness. Thank you very much, Akosia. Thank you, Kuku. It's been good. Thank you. Well, we've been speaking with Akosia Kunedu Yadom, who is a state registered nutritionist, and um, she has been helping us to appreciate the value within snails that we eat. And I hope you who enjoy snails will enjoy it even more now. And those of you who have been wondering, you know, you've been on the fence, wondering whether you should try or not, well, <laughs> it's time to jump in time to try it. How can people reach you? Okay, so on Instagram at the nutritionist Akosia, at the nutritionist Akosia on Facebook, nutritionist Akosia okay. LinkedIn, Twitter, nutritionist Akosia you can call me to 0243 Alright, super Hi, I hope you enjoyed the show Do not forget to subscribe, like comment and share with your friends this is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.